Ah, right, people, welcome back to our next video. So I've seen this going around online, seeing someone have figured out how to get Lost at Scale to work on SteamOS. So today I'm gonna try it out and see if I could actually get it to work. I've seen some different scripts and stuff like that, that saying you gotta do certain stuff to get it working. It didn't look that hard. So let me try it out and see if I could get it working. And if I do get it working, then you guys can see exactly how it works as well, right? It's my first time doing it. I'm gonna see it exactly how it works together at the same time. So let's get into it and see if we could actually get this to work, right? So first, what they say, you gotta download Lost of Scaling on your Steam OS. I have 143 hours, but this was on Windows. So first you gotta come here, you download it. And then you gotta go to desktop. Hit start, then you hit switch to desktop. Come to your desktop mode, just gonna come over here. And then you can just type your console and then it should pop up right here. Open it up. All right, so next thing is you would come to Firefox and then you have to go to the GitHub page. I think I already have it loaded already. So you can come to this GitHub page right here and you will scroll down and then you just need to copy this right here, this script. You just gotta copy this. Once you copy this, you go back to your console. Then you hit paste, copy and paste in here. Then you hit enter. Daniel says, do you wish to install the latest version of LSG? Press Y, enter. Then no saying has been installed, right? So once you put Y, enter, it says it has been installed. So that means we should be good right now, right? Right, so we can close this out real quick. Close this out. Just to double check, just go back in and let's see if it says already installed. If it says already installed, that means it's good. So hit paste again, hit enter, and then there you go. So it says it is already up to date. So now let's go back to gaming mode. First things first, they're saying this doesn't work perfect with every game, only with most game. So let me try it out with some of the simplest games, some of the games that's been out for a while and see how it works with that. If you guys don't know what Lost of Scaling is, it basically double your frame rate, give you a better experience while playing your games and give you a smoother experience, right? But first, next thing you guys gotta do is you have to enter the command in the command part, right? So you gotta go to properties, from the general, then you scroll down and then you gotta enter the command in here for it to work properly, right? So I'll put a command down below and then let me enter that now and then we can see what's going on guys. All right, so this is Helldivers 2, medium settings. I'm on getting 38 frame rate right now, 38 FPS right now, 40, 41, 38 around there. Um, this is without the command for loss of scaling. So let's see what's gonna happen when I turn on loss of scaling. Let's run off a little bit, see the maximum FPS I could get. 39, 38 around there. Right, so now let me enter the command and then see what happens if it did my FPS is going to double, guys. All right, so to enter the command, you'll go to the settings icon, go to properties, general, scroll down, and then you enter it right here. So I'm going to enter that and then you guys can see what's going on. Also, I'll have it, the command, in the description box down below, guys. So you could copy and paste it from there, but you might have to type it in. I'm not sure if you could copy and paste it though. So let me get that done and get back to you guys. And this is the command right here. So I see I got my flow scale at 0.25. You can mess around with the flow scale as well. And also the multiplier. The multiplier is how much you want to double your frames by. So it's up to you guys. But when I put my flow scale at 75, my FPS wasn't really going up or down. But I think you have to also mess with your resolution as well. Because I was playing at 1080p. So that's probably the reason why. All right, so we're Helldivers 2. See my FPS went up to 66, 69, 70. I also mess with my flow scale as well, but you gotta mess with it depending on the resolution you're running. So right now I'm running at 0.25 and that makes it performs a lot better, right? And I think I'm running at 1080p. Yeah, so it does work with this game. I don't see a massive amount of FPS, but it did give me a good amount right now. I, I'm in like 65, 70, and I'm coming from around like, I think already like 50, 50, 40. 
So yeah, so for this game, it's good. I don't imagine if we bring if I bring down my resolution, my FPS should go up a bit more as well. And it's smooth as well. I don't really see any type of shakiness or anything like that. See, I just went up to 80, 81, 75, 72. All right, so with Horizon Forbidden West, this is without any frame gen. All right, so lossless scale is off, right? As I said before, it's not working perfect for every game, but I'm gonna post every game how it's actually performing with the games. So right now, I'm getting 33, 34. Highest was 40 something. Right, so now I'm gonna enable loss of scaling and see if it actually works with this game. All right, so for Forbidden West, that's the command I put in for the flow scale. I'm leaving it at uh, 0.25 as well. So as I said, the lower the number, the quality of the game might look not as great. If you put it up to 75, it might look better, but it all depends on what you want, right? But you won't see a bigger difference in your FPS if you put up the the flow scale All right so load the number might look a little bit bad but not as crazy because the game let still look amazing because i don't really see any difference i did try the 75 0 0.75 versus 0 0.25 and i didn't see any main crazy difference between the quality right i leave it at 0 0.25 and i'm getting the best results with my fps so now let's hop in this game and see how this one would perform as well all right so for forbidden west I don't really see any FPS increase or anything like that, so it's still around the same. So I'm guessing it doesn't work with this game. And I said before, it's not working properly with every game, guys. So keep that in mind. And yeah, so I'm still getting around 6, 37, 38, 40. And that's what I was getting before with just um just the base game with no upscaler, guys. Let me just go back one more time and check my command to make sure it's correct. Let's go to my command real quick. Properties. Let's come down. Yeah, everything looks correct. Um, let me change. I'm gonna have to reboot the game anyways. I'm gonna change. Let me change this to 75. And then I'm gonna lower my resolution in the game and see what happens. So I'm gonna reboot the game and then I'll see what happens after that, guys. All right, so I did lower the resolution to 800p and I changed it to 75, 0.75. FPS is still the same and nothing changed. So let me try one more thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at 800p and then change the flow scale back to 25 right let me do that before i reboot the game so you guys can see actually what the fps is right all right so let's go in here let's go to home let's go to properties scroll down i'm gonna change this 25 So that's change but it shouldn't affect anything because i think i gotta reboot the game but i'm gonna i'm just doing this right now guys so you guys can see all right it says head back to the game nothing will change because i don't didn't reboot the game still at 40 41 but let's change the resolution so you guys can see what's the fps like without flow scale activator right with that with 0 0.25 so change back to 1080p you apply yes went down to 33 right so it's 34 right now flow scale should it should still be activated at 75 right 0 0.75 should it should still be activated at 0 0.75 because it didn't reboot the game so right now i'm getting like 40 35 right so i'm gonna leave it at 25 at 1080p and now i'm gonna reboot the game i'm gonna do everything live so you guys can see so now let's do that go on the game exit game right so now i'll go back right inside the game let's double check make sure it's still all right it says at 25 and then 
Move this up. Hit continue. And it's still at 30, went up a little bit, 44, 46, 50, went back to 35. So nothing changes right there. So it's probably not working with this game. But as you guys can see with Eldavis 2, it was working with Eldavis 2. So yeah, so that's basically it, guys. Just trying to show you what's going on. If, if I'm doing something wrong, just let me know. That's why I did that with no cuts so you guys can see what's actually going on. So let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you're using this and if what game you're using it with and if it's actually working, right? So yeah, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. And also remember, this is not the full release. They're still working on it. This is just like a port over, so it's not actually working. You hear me? It's just a workaround. So can't wait to see how it really is when it's finally released, right? So thanks for tuning in, guys. I would always say health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys.